I am presenting on behalf of condolence, expressingcondolence.com. I'd like to share a personal story with you. Ten years ago, my brother was killed in a head-on collision. Seventeen years old, my mother and father were left dealing with setting up arrangements, something that nobody wants to do, regardless of who just passed away. At expresscondolence.com, we provide you an easy way to express condolences. And we do it in two ways. You may send gifts. You may send gifts, flowers, send them a ham at home, make a donation. They may need help paying for funeral services. You also want to communicate. So here's the deal. There are, there are primary users and there are secondary users. My father, needing to make arrangements for my brother, he would be a primary user. He's going to go in and set up communicating details of the funeral arrangements, getting it out to everyone who's on the need to know. Everyone who wants to give and offer easy condolences to my family and friends, they're going to go in and uh, offer communication through shared videos, pictures, posts. There are other people that have tried to solve this problem. Arrange online, tributes.com, legacy.com. Let's take a look at some of these. Tributes.com is a really good example of what's been attempted to make it easy for to share condolences. But I'm not sure what they're telling me. Something about Rodney King and his Father's Day. <laughs> so let's take a look at expresscondolences.com. Two ways to express your condolences. Bereavement. Click on this if you, like my father, primary user, and you want to set up the details for funeral arrangements. Get it out to everybody. Condolences if you want to send a condolence. Flowers, on eBay town. If, you're, if the primary user has not gone in and set up a bereavement page, and I am someone who wants to offer my condolences, you're not excluded from using this site. You can go and draft a letter, and it will automatically send it out for you. My brother's name is Wesley Baker. This is an example uh, service information provided for details about his funeral so that everybody can know what's going on. So how do we get the word out? Referrals, word of mouth, that's the best. There are also other ways, including funeral homes, hospice, hospitals, is this a business model that is sustainable? Based on our competition, they charge $20 to $40 for the page, bereavement page. We're charging $35. We also have an, a marginal markup on third-party services. <coughs> Who needs our services? 6,744 people die in the United States every day. An average number of attendees for every funeral, 60 to 100. Our financial snapshot ending June 31 for the month, 287,000, a 38% ratio of expense to income with a net projection of that month, 178,000. How do we make this possible? 653,000 for launching implementation. Allow me to introduce my team, Nicholas, Jim, Clay, and the guy who thought of this idea, the brain behind it, 
rick howe, give it up.